All right, guys, so for these next few videos, I'm going to be talking about Ethos Pathos logos. Um, you should have this past week already posted one to two terms within the discussion forum. Um, I will be going back and kind of just responding to you guys, um, double checking to make sure that you are using the terms correctly. Again, I'm probably not going to be responding to each individual, so I highly encourage you to just kind of sift through your classmates um, post to see where exactly I was responding and just kind of getting um, a chance to read the feedback that I've, I'm giving some of your classmates um, if you were not one that I responded to. So um, if you already posted over Ethos Pathos logos, um, please don't go back and change it. Um, however, I would just encourage you to kind of go back and read that post and make sure that you were using them correctly or that you understood the terms um, correctly. So what is ethos? Um, ethos or ethos, um, however you prefer to say it, is character, reputation, a fabricated character or appearance of character. Uh, we make arguments from character. So ethos, um, is when the author is creating a character to help persuade an audience or when an author is creating their character or inventing their character through word choice um, or through rhetoric. So there are two ways to look at ethos. Um, the first is situated ethos. Um, so this is contextual, right? What do you know about the author, the writer, before you encountered their text? Um, and so this is going to be a good example of when that extra research is going to come into play. Um, you can go out and research David Sedaris and you might find, well, he's well known for satire. He's well known for these more humorous pieces, right? And so that's going to be contextual. Now, textual ethos or invented ethos is ethos that's invented in the text through rhetorical choices. Um, sometimes the rudder's invented ethos doesn't match up with their situated ethos, right? Um, the best way I know how to explain this in examples is think about um, artists, right? Singers, rappers, um, whatever, whoever your favorite is, right? Um, I always like to use the example of Taylor Swift. So her situated ethos, um, we know Taylor Swift one way, right? Through the media, through our interactions with the media, or through opinions of our friends, things like that. But once we listen to Taylor Swift's music, we have a completely different understanding of who she is, right? What her character is, her reputation, things like that. So <clears throat> there are three types of ethos or three things that you can kind of look at when examining ethos. So credibility. Um, is the author or the writer credible? Are they intelligent? Are they reasonable? Are they trustworthy? Um, again, this is where background comes in. Uh, a doctor might have more credibility than someone who we've never heard of before. Um, or a news anchor might have more credibility than a teacher who is just expressing their thoughts. Um, those are kind of things to think about. Is this writer credible? Do they have good character? Um, are they sympathetic to others? Do they have morals that are being expressed within this text? Do they have values um, that the audience also has? Are they charitable and respectful towards their audience? Um, they kind in the, their language to their audience, right? And then finally, do they show goodwill? So again, they have respect towards the audience, they're showing care, they're showing interest of the audience, things like that. Um, they're not making rude comments towards their readers or expressing opinions that are extremely offensive, right? So again, these are kind of three areas or three types of ethos that you can look at when examining a text. All right, so ethos can be created, invented, invented um, or built. It can also be destroyed. Um, and so 
Just a few ways that an author can destroy their ethos. They can make uninformed or poor decisions that seem unintelligent or unwise. So this would be where they're expressing a lot of opinion that may not be backed up by facts. Um, they're showing poor character like greed or dishonesty. Um, or they're showing a lack of goodwill towards the audience or or even others. Maybe there's a specific group of people within the text that they're examining or that they're discussing and they're tearing them down. I'm going to go back to the Astros example. Um, if an author is spending their entire time just bashing the Astros organization and talking about how terrible they are, that might be an example of how they're destroying that credibility with their reader because they're showing a lack of goodwill um, or respect towards their subject in their text, right? All right, so this is the ethos video. Um, I'm going to be talking about pathos and logos in an another two videos. I'm trying to keep these short um, so you're not sitting in front of your computer in front of each video for longer than five to six minutes.